We are here at the Cox Diesel booth with Bruce at the 2020 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. He's got some real cool stuff to tell us about this new diesel outboard engine. Let's uh, let him take it away. Hey everybody, I'm Captain Peterson. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you love freedom, fast boats, and cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. we got many more videos to come. Hi everybody, my name is Bruce Whitfin. I'm the North American Account Manager for Cox Powertrain. They're based out of the UK. The engines are manufactured in the UK. It's the first 300 horsepower diesel outboard brought to market. We're now in production. Um, the big points are we're 25% less fuel, 480 foot-pounds of torque, and we will last three times longer than the gasoline outboard. Our market is pleasure boats, uh, commercial boats, yacht tenders down here are a big draw. They don't want to store gas on deck. They don't want to worry about buying gas. Um, they can fill up the tenders from the big boat. So yeah, we're excited to be here. We have a 34 foot Intrepid running around out there taking boat builders on demo rides. So things are good. Yeah. Who have you started selling them in the US? They just, we've had 12 come over. Production just started the production line. We got EPA tier three approval. So um, we can now ship over here. So there's been, I think, 12 shipped to the state so far. Okay. Those have all gone to our distributors for their demo boats. There's two here in Florida. There's a triple Invincible being rigged up in Texas. Um, the guys out in California, Bosun's Locker, have a 25-foot safe boat they're rigging up. So okay. by Christmas, I think we should have, uh, you know, 50 to 100 engines in the states. Right. Military. Uh, Military's a big draw. Law enforcement at all. Yep. Military, law enforcement. Um, the military, like the yacht tenders, don't want to have gas on deck. They don't want to store gas. Um, fire boats are a big draw. Those yeah, guys don't want to go out fight fires with a boat full of gasoline. Yeah, I was in the Air Force uh, for seven years, and I used to be one of the guys trained to fight fires on airplanes. Uh, I loaded bombs and missiles on them, and they train everybody and stand fire guard and all this kind of stuff. And you know, diesel is a, a lot safer than gas. You can put a match in diesel, and it won't set on fire. Whereas gas. You've seen these videos online of people blowing their boats up and not doing stuff right at the fuel dock. So it's a huge concern. How does this translate to the average everyday boater? Like, who's, who is this motor for? So this motor for the average everyday boater, a sport fish guy, because of the fuel consumption, it's going to give you a lot more range. Okay. Um, and because of the torque, you may be able to put two of these 300s on the back of a boat rather than three gas engines. So because you can get up on plane quicker. You can get up on plane, you get out of the hole, and I mean, at wide open throttle, we're burning 19.6 gallons an hour. Okay. So with the same amount of fuel, you're going to have a lot more range. Yeah, like on a monohull, a lot of the fuel that's expended is getting it up on plane, especially if it's big and heavy. Right. So I'd imagine these are probably more suited to monohulls compared to a catamaran, is that? Um, no, I mean, we're doing some cats. We're doing a passenger vessel catamaran um, in North Carolina. But they're, you know, we have triple quad setups, so we can do cats. Okay. What about these new hydrofoils? Do you know anything that uh, gives any experience about them on those? I'm not sure about those, no. Yeah, nobody seems to be sure about these hydrofoils, except for these like engineers like at like yeah, 8,000 degrees. Of, as long as the props stay in the water, they'll probably work. So. Yeah. Do you have any future plans on you know bigger or smaller versions of this or anything like that? Yeah, once we um we bring this to market and we get it pretty stable, um, we're gonna they will only go up from there, is what I'm hearing from engineering. You, you know, mean, like horsepower? Horsepower okay. wise, yeah. So the um you know, this has been 10 years in development, a lot of money, a lot invested. So to go down in horsepower wouldn't make much sense. So in the whole market, as you can see, walk around the show is going up. So I, I could see us going up in horsepower in the future. Yeah, it seems like uh, with diesel, it's more about moving big, heavy loads. Uh, there's some interesting stuff going on with like, you know, gas outboards with these guys that run these Pangas and it's like a 90 horsepower. They could put a lot of weight in these pangas. Like, yeah. have you put these on pangas at all? How, do, how does that work? Um, not yet, but it was designed when we, when Cox started, it was designed. We were targeting the commercial boat market. Okay. Because it's a diesel, because of the longevity, because those guys that burn fuel for a living can justify the extra cost of a diesel. Um, so with the low end torque, you can carry more load. On right. Boat. So I'd imagine like you put this on like a 30, 40 foot panga. Uh, they're already super fuel efficient and. I would be really interested to see the numbers on a panga with one of these on one of the larger pangas. Yeah, yeah. You know, especially the Yamaha type pangas that are, uh, they, they were designed to carry heavy loads super efficiently. Yeah. You know, and pangas need that torque. Well, I'd like to thank Bruce for uh, going over these uh, new cool diesel engines. Uh, when I do another top five video for the outboards, I will definitely bring these in the video. 
Uh, if you guys like this type of content, give me some comments on the below. Let me know if you want me to add or subtract or uh, do any stuff on the water with these guys in the future. Uh, until next time, if you love freedom, fast bolts, and cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We got many more videos to come, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.